Okay. Thanks, Paul. Uh, tomorrow on the uh, program, oh, this is going to be another good program tomorrow. Sonny Bono and his former wife, Cher, will be here tomorrow. And uh, also a foot doctor, shoe collector, Dr. Ted Borges. That'll be here. That was one of the conditions of the booking. We had to have Dr. Ted Borges on or they wouldn't show. So. Tonight's second show is the stuff of television legends. So what if it is a repeat? It's the show where Dave reunites Sonny and Cher. Hi, I'm Dave Letterman. Here now is a second full hour of my late night show. Isn't it wonderful? From New York, where our little science fiction drama has reached a climax. A bunch of super evolved reptiles from outer space are about to eat me. They've already scarfed down my sweater. And that's a cotton poly blend. I don't want to die. I want to go back to Earth and devote my life to preaching peace and brotherhood to all mankind. Bill, Bill, wake up. You've been dreaming. What? Huh? What? What? Where am I? Biff! It was all a dream. It's Late Night with David Letterman. Tonight, Sonny Bono and Cher. Plus, Paul Schaefer and the world's most dangerous man. Bill, are you going to devote your life to preaching peace and brotherhood? It was a dream, you pinhead. Come on, let's party! David Letterman! Thank you so much. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the uh, program. We got an interesting uh, show for you folks tonight. Are, are we a little nervous or not, Paul? I'm a little, a little iffy about it. Yeah, yeah. we have, uh, oh, we've I... created here a minor, wouldn't you say it's safe to say it's a minor media event? Yes. Yeah. We, 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 are, well, we are having two people together. It's who... a media event. But um, it's a major media event? Really? It's... Yeah. Major media event? Well, no wonder we're nervous then. Um, I'll tell you more about the major media event a little bit later. Now I'm completely thrown. I didn't realize it was a major, it's a major, major, major media, major event. media event. Yeah. Uh, well, this to me sounds a little strange. Uh, today, Supreme Court nominee Anthony Kennedy said at a press conference, no, I've never smoked marijuana, but sure, I'd love to try. <laughs> it is a major media event? Minor. Well, now, what would be an example of a major media event? Well, uh... Pearl Harbor. Yeah. There, that was a... See, by, if you compare it to Pearl Harbor, this is oh, nowhere. Well, that's true. No, this would be a minor. This, this compared to Pearl Harbor would be a... There, oh, now we put it back into perspective for you. <laughs> Although it feels a little like Pearl Harbor here now. Uh, yesterday, an Italian was fined for entering uh, England with a sleeping snake concealed in his pants. I'll pause here to give you folks at home the chance to make up your own foul joke there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Anton. Uh, yesterday, singer David Crosby's drug conviction for which he spent five months in jail was thrown out. It's nice to see that Judge Ginsburg is working again. <laughs> It sounds like this, I wish I could sing, because I, I do something from Oklahoma. Let's do it. Let's well, do I, don't, I don't sing, so I can't. Nope, don't. <laughs> Guy jumps up with a microphone. <laughs> anyway, here's our uh, media event for the weekend. We have Sonny Bono on the program tonight, and also appearing a little bit later, and with Sonny will be his former wife, Cher. There, you see, that's... that's the
very good. Not very good with these minor media events. And now, ladies and gentlemen, say hello to our good friend, Mr. Paul Schaefer. Paul is there. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. We are all, we're all big Sonny and Cher fans over here, and uh, Cher, of course, is here. She's going to debut the a song from a new album. Cher, Cher will be singing. Sonny will be talking. Wouldn't it be wonderful, Paul, if by any stretch of the imagination, we could persuade them to do a song together? Oh, yeah, but that'll, that'll never happen. I don't think that would... I don't think that would ever happen, that they'd uh, ever, for all time's sake, get back to But that would be fun, wouldn't it? Well, that would be a Then we'd have it. something. Then we'd have yeah, something Yeah, but here. who could? Then you'd have a major. Sure, that would be a that major. That would be major. Absolutely. <laughs> you, ought, you ought to be here today, boy. They, this, the, the halls are crawling with show business people here today. Yeah. Managers and agents and press people and PR vermin. It's wonderful to be here. Just... <laughs> Let's do our uh, top ten list, and then we'll get to tonight's uh, viewer mail before we begin the big show. Uh, this comes to us, as always, from the home office in Scottsdale, Arizona. Here we go. Top ten terrifying things that come to you as you're falling asleep. You know, Paul, just before you nod off, uh, a thought will fr flash across Sometimes your mind. Sometimes that and, happens. Yeah, yeah and, and it can keep you up for days if yeah. it's uh, the appropriate thought. Here, here we have the top ten terrifying thoughts that come to you as you're falling asleep. Number ten. What if there are other Stallone brothers? Number nine. <laughs> That guy moving in next door sure looked a lot like John Bowser Bauman. Number eight, could I get a rash on the inside of my skin? Number seven, did I really give Wendell my home number? Number six, what if God is a lot like Howie Mandel? Number five, I could have sworn I saw Jimmy the Greek behind the hamper. Number four, what if the musical Cats is now and forever? Number three, is that my hand? Number two, what the hell is in secret sauce? And number one, what if John Gotti didn't think I was kidding? Well, there you have it. All right. Thank you very much, Paul. Let's uh, get to the viewer mail because we want to save uh, plenty of time for uh, Sonny Bono. And uh, share. Gee, and that also, would be great if the two of them, but it would never happen. It ain't going to happen. No, it, would it ain't going to happen because I can see these happen. management weasels running around backstage right now saying, there was no song. Right. Song? That's Who right. said anything about a song? No, it'll never. Happen. No, that won't fly. Uh, also, we have Dr. Ted Borges, a uh, podiatrist, on. Get a song out of him. <laughs> Maybe he'll do I Got You, Babe. He'll do a song with Sonny. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good enough. Sonny and the Doc. Anyway, in the meantime, we're going to answer our viewer mail, which has accumulated over the last seven days. Here it is right here. <laughs> Letter number one. Dear Dave, it begins, I've noticed that at the end of your show you take off your jacket and hand it to one of the people on the set. Dave, what do they do with your jacket? A bewildered fan, Carrie Dandegrift, Houston, Texas. Uh, this, is a, this is an excellent question, by the way. Uh, I usually don't wear a jacket more than once. So I'm not really sure what they do. Biff, what, what happened? What do you do with the jacket when I'm done with it? Dave, I just added to the big ball of sports coats. <laughs> big ball. Of, the big ball of sports coats. You know, I think when Sonny and Cher get a look at the big ball of sports coats, they might reconsider this whole damn mess. Uh, letter number two. Dear Dave, what is it like being famous, not knowingly Liz Lowe's Long Branch, New Jersey? Well, uh, Liz, you know, people imagine that it's uh, very glamorous, but uh, uh, always being recognized actually can be kind of a nuisance. In fact, whenever I go into public, I, I have to wear this uh, disguise here. This is the only way people will leave me alone, and, and then I can pretty much go anywhere I want. <laughs> just walking around like that, it's, it's not a problem for me. I just, oh, hold oh, I just come put on, on this uh, simple little uh, disguise. Come here, on mask, now. Wait a second. Not a what problem the? at all. What the hell is going on well, with What's this? the matter, Paul? I, have I worked on this show for six years just to be insulted like this? It's just a, it's just a joke. Will oh, you relax? Come on. It's yeah. only a joke. It's a little cardboard cutout. I put it on my face. Yeah. Only a joke. We all enjoyed it. I'm yeah. sorry you're miffed, but it's just a joke. Okay. So why, why don't you just relax? All right. You? you relax. Okay. Letter number three. You relax what? because I'm out of here. I'm out of oh, here. Oh, no. <laughs> you relax. Enough. You know, with a, a wire comes out of your shirt in <laughs> well, the middle of a show. That could be important. You're you got a wire coming out of your shirt. Wait a, a show wait a minute, Paul. A reunion and Sonny, and you learn oh, all the old hits. Wait a minute, Paul, wait a second. Have. I know how to handle this. Paul, look. Look, Paul, Rice Krispie Squares. 
Wow. Rice Krispie squares, Paul. <laughs> Freshly baked. There they are. Oh, uh, all right. Okay. Just, just this once. Though. Okay. Don't let it happen. Right. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> Boy, there's a joke we never get tired of, huh? I want to sing on her phone before, you know. <laughs> what letter are we up to now? Is it three or four? Uh, number three, dear Dave, how do you stop a clown from laughing? Well, this is an excellent question, Andy, and uh, we're lucky to have an authority on this subject right here on our own staff. Folks, please say hello to Flunky, the late-night viewer mail clown. Flunky? <laughs> Flunky, uh, thank you very much for being here, and, uh... That's okay. It's just not like I was doing anything else. Oh, well, I appreciate that. Tell us, how have you been? Uh, well, okay, I guess uh, the left side of my body keeps going numb, so... Geez, well, that sounds serious. Uh, no, I think it's just from sleeping outside. I see. Uh, anyway, Flunky, a viewer wrote in with what I thought was a very interesting question. Did you hear what the question was, Flunky? Uh, no, sorry, I was in the john. Yeah. Um, he wanted to know, he wanted to know how... Is it possible? Is there any way you can stop a clown like yourself from laughing? Anything you can do to stop a clown? Yeah, that's brilliant. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, uh, I guess you could point out he makes very little money. Uh -huh. uh, another surefire way, I guess, is deliver a subpoena from his ex-wife. Right. Or you could give him an insurance chart that uh, shows the lifespan of guys that uh, inhale grease paint fumes all day. Uh-huh, yeah. That's a laugh killer. Yeah, okay, Flunky, thank you very much. Uh, you can point things. out he lives in a trailer. Uh-huh, okay, guess, fine, or fine, thank you You can give him some much. bad sores on his right leg that are slow to heal. All right, fl Flunky, that's or, uh, funny. Thank you very ask much. Ask him the last time he had a woman. Uh -huh. That'll send the last okay. right down the toilet. Uh, okay, Flunky, thank you. Thank you okay. very much. Now, now, anything else going on for you that we ought to know about? Uh, yeah, I was, I was trying to get in on the uh, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Well, that would be great. I and mean, you would be uh, turning cartwheels and juggling and waving to the kids, stuff like that? No, actually, I asked for a spot where you sit in the car. Oh. But uh, I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> well, we'll we'll keep our fingers crossed for yeah. you. Uh, I got to go, Dave. I want to get my picture taken with Sonny, okay? Okay, sure thing, Flunky. And uh, thank you very much. And as you go on your way, spreading laughter to people of all ages. Yeah, right. Thanks again. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Letter number four. Letter number four. Thank you very much, Paul. Letter number Letter four. Letter number four. Letter number four. That's right. Letter number four. Letter number four. Letter number four. <laughs> Some of the kids here in the audience are doing their homework and we don't want to disturb them. <laughs> Letter, number Letter number four. That's right. Dear Dave, why do you constantly move back and forth during the monologue? You look as if you've got to use the bathroom real bad. <laughs> A concerned viewer, Terry Teague, Marietta, Georgia. Oh, brother, not again. Gerard! Yeah. Ger Gerard! Gerard! Yeah. Gerard! Yeah. Gerard! Yeah. Gerard! Whose idea was it now for me to constantly move back and forth during the monologue? Uh, it was a long time ago. I don't really remember. What? It was my idea. That's right. It was your idea, Gerard. And, and when you came up with the idea, Gerard, what did you tell me that Terry Teague would be if I did that? Uh, captivated and delighted. What? Captivated and delighted. That's right. You told me she would be captivated and delighted. But she's not, is uh, she? Apparently not. No, apparently not at all from this letter. What is she, Gerard? Concerned. Concerned is exactly right. Concerned enough to write this angry letter. Uh, you're fired. Just get out of here, Gerard. I just beat it. Just hit the road. We don't. Okay, we got a great show for you folks tonight. I want to thank you for joining in, uh, Sonny. Oh, it's just a joke. Let me let me get Jerry back in here. We didn't really fire Jerry. Come on back in. I'll be right back. I'll get Jerry because it's only a joke, and I want to prove it to you people that we would never fire a guy just like that, Jerry. I'll get him for you in just a second. Jerry, where's, uh, where's Mulligan? What are, you, what are you guys watching? What's going on? Donahue? You seen Mulligan? Cruel, heartless bosses who fire faithful employees for no reason after years of service. Jerry, how long were you with the letter? Almost six years. Did you say that your job was important to you? Bill, it was my life. And then you came to work one day ready to sweat blood for Letterman and 
boom, he fires you. He gives you the boot. It was, it was like a bad dream, Phil, after, after all those years. What do you do when your job is at the mercy of some monster whose sick idea of power is to recklessly destroy the lives of others? We'll be back in just a moment. And, uh, and, and we'll be right back here. Onward and upward, our first guest tonight wrote songs that became 10 gold records. At one time, he had composed five songs in the Billboard Top 100, an accomplishment only shared by the Beatles. This man is an actor, a restaurateur. Yes. A restaurateur. I've been to his restaurant. Uh, and a candidate for mayor of Palm Springs, California. Folks, please say hello to Sonny Bono. a little different. I was going to come out in a, uh, in a sweater and, and Levi's and chastity, and my wife said, you can't go on that way. And so we ran over to the store about a half hour before the show, bought the shirt, bought the pants. Geez, you look terrific. And Thank I you. saw you in the, in the hallway for the first time ever in person, and I was immediately taken, and I don't know how to make this not sound silly, but you, you looked... Uh, Geez, great. Thanks. thanks. <laughs> I, don't Thank know, you I don't know what else to say. Well, uh, and I understand you're, you're expecting? You, you have I'm going to be a papa, yeah. Well, that'll be good. How many, how many kids do you have? I have two. Two. I have a daughter, 29. Uh-huh. And I have Chastity, and she's 18. Right. And I got the new Bambino coming. Mm -hmm. 29, 18, and still coming. Still, still arriving. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it still works. Yeah. Is that what you want to know? Uh, I'm Italian. I'm pasta. <laughs> How many times have you been married? I have been married uh, four times. Four times. Yeah, I think I got it right. Uh -huh. Well, that's yeah. great. Yeah. And, and now you're, you have uh, temporarily at least left the world of, of show business, although I guess politics is really not far removed from show business, but uh, you're running for mayor in Palm Springs? Yeah, and I didn't leave it. It kind of left me for a while. After, after um, Sharon and I broke up, um, it got really hard for me. I mean, I love show business, but it, it got hard to, to... Really rub it in, Sonny. Really go to work <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, well, oh, wait till she gets out <laughs> <Yeah>. here. <laughs> no, no. No, it's not going to be like that. I, she has nice things to say about you, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, but now you find yourself, you, you, own, a, you own restaurants. I own, I own a rest. I got bored. I was calling up people and saying, I want to work in show business, and, and it got tougher. So uh, one day I did, I, I did a movie. I was doing Airplane 2, and I saw this little building, and, and for some reason, people want to own restaurants. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. It's, it's like songwriter, singer, actor. Sure own restaurant and you visualize it like being Humphrey Bogart in Casablanca. Right. Yeah. It's not that way at all. People steal from you. Tough, all your it? food goes out the back door. Yeah. Everybody's mad at you. The cooks walk out and the sewers back up. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't get to see that part of yeah. it. But So yeah. now but why did you want to run for the mayor of the city? Well, I I live in Palm Springs and, and our city is a beautiful town. And so I opened a restaurant in Palm Springs and I go, okay, here I am. And I, I said, well, I'm going to put up a sign and let them know I'm here. So I go down to the city and say, well, I'm, I'm going to put up a sign. Mm -hmm. They go, no, you can't put up a sign. I uh. go, well, why? And they go, well, because. Yeah. And I go, well, that's a silly reason. So we're kind of we're kind of antiquated. And I'm a businessman there, and I have an investment there. And and our town's not growing, and all the towns around us yeah. are growing. And they're kind of they're kind of dictatorial there. And so after a while, you get mad, and you go, well, I'm going to do whatever I can to change it. And yeah. they go, well, you try, son. You try. So, so, so when, said, when well, is the election? This, this, the man is the incumbent. He's been there uh, forever. Is that the 40 years. 40 years. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, enough about the politics. OK. Let's get to the good stuff. Okay. What happened? Where did it all go wrong? <laughs> 
It all one day, what happened? Because you guys, you were responsible, you molded, you put it all together, you had the look, you had the sound, you, you wrote the songs, uh, you were, it was your idea for the TV show, yeah. for the, the stage act, on and on, and then one day, bingo, it, it yeah. all goes south on you. What happened? I, I ask myself that every day. No, you don't. Uh, no. Do you? Uh, no, I don't. Um, you know, it, it, it is just so hard, I think, for two people to be, first be in love, and then be partners, and then be in show business together, and go into business together, and be equal in that business together, and, and kind of stay married. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's almost it's it's impossible. impossible. Because it's not like an eight-hour-a-day job. It's round the clock. And then you lose the, you lose the relationship. Yep. And suddenly you're a business. Yes. It, like I look at Sonny, Sonny and Cher almost like two other people. Yeah. I can, I, I like, I'm, I love them. I love yeah. Sonny and Cher. I'm tonight's as exciting for me yeah. seeing Sonny and Cher as it is for other people. You know, you you kind of feel the electricity of the two of them. I say, but it, it's it's. Now she's going to come out here in a second. When was the last time you guys appeared? anywhere together other than say like I understand you're pretty good friends at this point you go to dinner you talk on the phone that kind of thing yeah we're yeah. good friends and uh, Sharon and I have a thing that uh, no one else will understand like we could call each other names mm -hmm. or we could we could we could we could do whatever but w when we see each other there's something that that always connects oh, sure, us that, that goes right back to the first to the very strength the very heart of the relationship yeah probably. that yeah. that won't ever go away yeah. and i i mean we could we could get really uh, we could do anything but if if somebody called on the phone and said look i i need you right now yeah um that thing comes back you know but then pride enters into it and 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 what uh, sometimes the public puts us against each sure. other, well, it's you know, the or thing. your adversaries. Yeah, yeah, or Cher's doing real yeah. great right now. How do you like that? Ha ha, you know, I mean, and that sort of thing. But you're gonna you're gonna be the mayor of a city. Yeah. So you know, she should think twice about crossing any town lines. She better lines. watch it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so she's gonna come out here now. We're gonna do a commercial, and she's gonna sing. Now, when was the last time you saw her perform? Uh, I saw her perform at the rehearsal, and. <laughs> Screw it, pal. Let's cancel no. it now. We don't. No, but I must say, it was ver it was a very touching, emotional m moment. Yeah. Watch watching her work with the. Now, will you guys? Will you sing? Do you think tonight together? I'll sing with Cher anytime. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Get ready to hang on to something. Our next guest uh, won an Academy Award nomination for her role in Silkwood uh, and the Best Actress Award at the Cannes Film Festival for her performance in Mask. She also called me an ass right here on the show. Um, this is her first album in six years. It's entitled Cher. Folks, please welcome Cher.
That's, uh, that's on the new album here, is that uh, right? Yeah. Oh, you sounded great. Thank you. And But I got it. Oh, what the hell were you wearing exactly? <laughs> was, there, was there a fire at the hotel or something? No, I, didn't you describe it as something to be wore? Oh, no, an outfit you said of mine was, did she think she was going to Darth Vader's funeral? Ah, <laughs> but I, I got to tell you, you have tattoos all over the back part of your body. Yes, I do. What, what is that exactly? It looked to me, it's like a Rorschach thing there. <laughs> So then it could be anything you want it to be. What did you think it was, David? <laughs> well, I was, I was stunned. I knew you had one back there because I, I had read that you had one, and maybe you even told me you had one. But I didn't realize it was so elaborate. It was like a billboard. Like, <laughs> that's a lot of work. I have everything but the late night logo on there. <laughs> well, let's get to work. No. Um, <laughs> now, now, what do you think about this? Is this, is this any kind of, uh, does it bring back any kind of emotions, any kind of tensions for you? I feel you nothing. Because you guys, because you guys are, you still maintain an amicable relationship, right? We have, you know, I think Sunny and I have, we were talking about this on the telephone, we have a very strange relationship that no one will ever understand except us. And, and I don't think I even understand it a lot. I don't either. All right. Do you, do you, does it ever cross your mind, maybe in, in, a, in a moment of... Do you know of... what a scoop this is? I don't know why. We should have gotten paid for this, Sonny, to come on late night and... Yeah, I know. You're getting and, nothing I mean, out of this. How about zip? You, you could have turned this into big dough right, somewhere. big bucks. And here, aware, but... we're looking at scale. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, but do, do, you, do you ever think to yourself, gee, I, um, maybe we could get back together? As In what capacity? Get married again. Well, I don't know. Mary wouldn't feel too good no, about that right now. My wife wouldn't like that very She's much. She's pregnant. Are you, are you friendly with his wife? Mary, yeah. yeah. And, and is, is Sonny friendly with the... With your I husband? don't think... No, I don't think... <laughs> I'm not even friendly with my husband. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't think you know Robert. Yeah, I've talked to him on the phone. He's, yeah. he's really a nice guy. I've never met him. So, so you've but, evolved uh, beyond all of those uh, feelings What are you of, trying to get to? I don't know. I'm just killing just time. Bull just killing time. Right. Uh, <laughs> I expected more from you somehow. <laughs> now don't start, Sharon. Okay. Don't start. Um, uh, <laughs> did you do it again? Is that what happened? Yeah. Um, but what about I mentioned you in Letterman? I mean, I mentioned you in Witches. Did you notice that? No. They had somebody else's show, and I said, they had Johnny Carson's show. I said, no, let's say Letterman. Oh, well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'm always thinking about you. Well, <laughs> yeah, I find that hard to believe, but thank well. you very much. Um, what was the first... Did, did you guys work as a live act before you started recording? No. Can I tell them about when we first met? Yeah, go ahead. When Sonny and I first met... You have I, to clear this with Sonny? Well, because it's a... Well, no, I mean, I just, you know, we've never actually... It's like who's, who gets told. to tell the story. Oh, he'll, he'll jump in, but okay. you know how women are. I mean, I let him tell it, and I jump in, but I just be in all the time. Mm -hmm. So... I was 16 years old, and I was at a radio station, and Sonny walked in, and people had been talking about Sonny before he walked in. And he walked in, and I swear to God, this has only happened twice, and they were both Italians. Uh, he walked in, and everybody kind of faded around, like in a, a movie. Like when you guys are doing, you know, that weird stuff you do? Your shows, oh, yeah. the, the screen Flash gets all bench. wiggly. Yeah, right, okay. sure. And I looked at him and I thought, that's the strangest man I've ever seen in my life. He had long hair mm -hmm. and beetle boots on. I mean, I, there, I never heard of the Beatles. And we, we, I started living with him. But we were, he said, you could stay at my house if you do not a cook or clean. And I said, well, I can't cook, but I could clean. She couldn't clean. And we had, we had, <laughs> well, right. she was 16. And, but I told him I was 19, and then uh -huh. he found out that she I told wasn't. told me she was 19. And I said, all right, I'm not 19, but I'm 17, and she, next week is my birthday. Right. She, she just... And, she, I, and I was going to be 18, but I turned 17. She could lie. This kid could really... She, I was she, living on the street. She ran away from home. Right. I didn't know that. And she looked, she looked 18, 19, 20, and... Um, How old were you at the time? You are 27, I was 27. Yeah. And so uh, I saw her, and we double dated. She went out with her boyfriend, and she fixed me up with a girlfriend, and we liked each other. We danced, but I had no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No. Oh, 
yeah, I forgot that part. No. Oh, yeah. That was it. She... Let, let the record show that Cher had no zits. She had a, a lovely complexion for a girl of that age. And... No. Where right. did that come from? You well, because I was going to try and think of brass and I, and it didn't just come quickly enough well, to me. Well, that wasn't important. No, it was. It was very important was... to him. He invited me. Do you remember the day you invited me to the beach and you, you came running down the hallway? This was so awful. It broke my heart. He came running that you were in love with Melissa. He came running down the hallway and I stepped out of the bathing suit and he was like, <laughs> oh. All right, I guess you could come along. Come along. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're sharing a bedroom. Women are coming in there, jumping over my twin bed to get into bed with him. All right. And I'm thinking, what is going on here? Do you remember that? Me, yeah, me? I do. Okay. Yeah. I was crazy about her, but right. I didn't want her to know, so I thought I'd make her jealous. We used to a go. We bit. used to go. Like we'd do things like go to the store and buy paint, and we'd sit home and like. Remember, we painted that purple candle all day long. Painted a candle. No, we, we had watercolors, and we, uh -huh. it, was, it was our model. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. and I told my mother I was living with a stewardess, and, <laughs> and I lost almost all of his clothes because my girlfriend lived next door. When my mother would come over, I would take all of his socks and shorts and all of his clothing, run next door, and throw it through her living room window. And my mother once came over, and I didn't get a chance to get everything out, so I put the socks and the underwear in the tea cupboard. Mm -hmm. And my mother said from another room, I think I'm going to go make myself some tea. <laughs> no, mother! <laughs> I went and threw myself. I said, Mother, when I come to your house, I don't go in your cupboards. Yeah. Anyway, she knew something was strange. Yeah. You know? uh, and also, the stewardess was never there. Bear in mind, she was 16 at the time. Yeah. So I could have I, I, right. I well, put I was my 17. life in jeopardy. I was 17 at that time. How, how long were you guys a professional entity together? Well, as long, well we, were a, we were professional one year after we weren't living together. So that was like 11 years. 11 years. 11 years. Yeah. And, and do you look, do you, do you, like Sonny, do you look back at that and think, geez, those were two other people at this point? Well, it's really weird. There's a part that I could kind of jump over, the beginning, Sonny and Cher. Like when we first met, we were together and we were first trying to be Sonny and Cher. They're much more real to me than those two people. Like when you see this picture here, what, what do you think of? Uh, I think of our bedroom. Aside from Sonny's stomach, what do you, what comes to your mind? When... That's not his stomach. That's just, that's the way the photos do it. <laughs> oh, is that right? Well, take, show us your stomach, David. No, well. <laughs> what, uh, now, I mentioned it to Sonny, and uh, is there any chance in hell that you two would sing for us tonight together? Now, wait a minute, hold on. Because. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Now, wait a minute. Hold it. Because none of, none of this has been discussed prior to the show. It's sort of a last-minute thing. It's entirely up to oh, you. Oh, you are so full of... <laughs> Somebody told me, watch out for him, because they're planning to try and get you guys to sing. And I said, if he says I'm going to say, take down your pants and show us you-know-what. <laughs> I, I can't believe the way you talk. Why, you haven't rehearsed taking down your pants? <laughs> well, we haven't rehearsed singing Well, either. that's, there's no, Paul knows all of the music. This is one of Paul's all-time favorite songs. This is a dirty song. show. I'm leaving. <laughs> you know the song, don't you, Paul? You, happen to know you, you guys are ready to go. Uh, but you know what? what, is, what? I, you know, did I not even want to sing live? I didn't even want to sing live but tonight. But you, you sounded this. great. Yeah, all right. But I have a sore throat. Well, that's all right. It's, it's going to be, and when we have it, it's on cue cards. It's Are ready you to go. Me? No. Where and, are the... Wait a minute. And you weren't prepared for it, Dave? We were. We were. We, we knew you weren't. Come on. This will be great. Uh, I might do a couple of bars. Okay. Right. So we'll do a commercial. And then maybe. <laughs> So, uh, what, you wanted to mention something before I, I, I want to plug uh, one thing. I've, I, I, I waited for Cher, I waited, and waited. She, you know, she's doing solos, she's doing movies now, so I figured I, I'm going to get a new singing partner. So I've, I've got a new singing oh, partner. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Who would that and, be, Sonny? And, and we're going uh, <laughs> to, we're going to premiere uh, Jan, uh, Jan, uh, December 31st in Palm Springs. We're going to open the convention center with a big 60s rock and roll show. And we're she's gonna, blonde, however. She's blonde. This is for real. You actually for have real. a new. For real, I oh. have a new singer. And what is her party. name? Her name is well. I'm going to be with uh, like the Mamas and Papas, Dion. Right. But who will Madonna. you be singing with? 
I will be singing with Chastity Bono. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. He won't come out. She's hiding back there. She said, do you think he's going to ask me to come out there, Mom? I'm not going to come out there. So well, she, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. She's a I said, I don't know. You can never tell what he's going to ask you to do. Now, would you, if, if she came home with a tattoo all over her butt, would that drive you nuts? <laughs> Well, but you know what? I was 27 years old when I did that. My mother doesn't tell me what to do anymore. I have to tell you something. Today, Chastity was saying, we were discussing the fact that I wanted to get a mohawk one time. Mm -hmm. And Chastity threw herself against the bathroom door and she said, you can't do this, you can't do that. And she said, this is ridiculous. She said, you should be throwing yourself against the door saying, you know, right. you know. Yeah. She's, she's the voice made, of reason now. She is the voice of reason. <laughs> I'm very reasonable, but when I, you bring out the worst in me. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> Uh, okay, now what do you think? You want to try a little of this now? Well, you, wait a minute! Uh, wait a minute! You have a kind of a sore throat. Uh, yes, but you sounded really, great. Yeah, but I was so nervous, and I and I. We're I all a little nervous, great. but this would be a wonderful way. Well, I wasn't nervous to be on the show with you. I was nervous. <laughs> to be <my> <laughs> oh well, there, thanks, Paul. Now it's right there. You can give it a shot. Yeah, go right over there. Come on, you'll love it. Sunny and. Uh, They say we're young and we don't know. We won't find out till we grow. I don't know if all that's true. Cause you got me and baby, I got you. Baby, I got you, baby. I got you, babe. They say our love won't pay the rent Before it's earned, that money has all been spent I guess that's so we don't have a pot But at least I'm sure of all the things we got Babe, I got you, babe
<laughs> you know, it's so interesting because we pretty much remembered it. Yeah, yeah. no. We haven't done that in how many years? Ten, probably. Ten years. Oh, son, no. Is it ten? Ten. All right. Yeah. But it sounded, you know, for, for the first time in a long time, whatever, ten years, whatever, it sounded great. And uh, it's the kind of thing that, uh, you know, you get hair standing up uh, on various parts of your body. It's, you know? been, <laughs> it's been ten since we worked together, hasn't it? All right, yeah, ten. And you guys did this for scale. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I can't that. believe it. You know, it was my idea. Oh, it was? Oh, now you say it was your idea. Oh, wait a minute. You don't think it was? Excuse me, Martin. Where are you? Where's that guy? Yeah. You know what? Oh, he to, said to be together. Gonna, That's yeah, right. To be no, together. I was talking about the song. Oh, no. That yeah. wasn't my idea. No, no. But for you to both be here together. Yeah, because great. someone said Sonny's going to come but on. But the idea of the song was his, right? Y was my idea? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did it, did it work out all right? <laughs> yeah, then. And of course, absolutely, it was, it was spur my of idea. The moment, but it was very spur of the yeah. moment. But, but you know, I mean, I really appreciate it because you didn't have to do that. And like you said, you could take this someplace and get huge money for that. But it was fun. It was a nice. You know, I, I, I would really rather have it not have been huge money because, it, because it was more that it was better. It was better that we came back together like this on this show because it's crazy. I think as you as you are and, and all of your faults and all that stuff. But I. <laughs> You know what I mean? No, but he, 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 he borders on Johnny Carson, okay? And, oh? Okay, wait. Johnny Carson once tried to have me thrown out of, uh, out of a house. Do you remember that? <laughs> I don't know that we want okay. to get into that exactly. No, no because you're your boss. Was thrown, Good deal. Was it, was it his house? <laughs> we'll be back here, Yay. folks. What? Lovely. A little gift here from Cher. Uh, Sonny, thank you very much for it coming tonight. Pleasure. Good luck thank in the campaign. I hope you much. win. Nice to meet yeah. you. And Cher, thank you again. It was, uh, it was terrific. Thank I appreciate you. it. Good luck okay. to you. Uh, Monday, folks, uh, Martin and Lewis right here. Huh? Steel pencils. Well, I don't know that we want to reveal all of our secrets here, Paul. Uh. Uh, a week ago, was it a week ago, Paul, we had the tearful, joyous reunion of Sonny and Cher on our program right here on this very stage. Seems and uh, one of the NBC photographers, Reggie Lewis, I believe is the man's name, took this photograph. How can we get a shot of this? All right there, Carl, can you do that for us? This is Sonny and Cher. I myself, of course, completely overwhelmed by the sentiment of the moment. <laughs> A giant tattoo on her ass. Man, you look fantastic. You look Thank lovely. You. Thank you for being here. What's going on? Well, you know, Dave, for a number of years, there's something that I've always wanted to get straight between us. Me too. Come on, Paul. Once a long time ago, on the first show, I called you an ass. Oh, yes. I remember that. Okay. That was how many years ago? Was that? that was 29 years ago. 29 years ago. Well, well, that's very nice of you. And I always uh, took it with a grain of salt. No, you didn't. Mm -hmm. Remember the People magazine? Mm -hmm. You kept mentioning it in the People well, magazine. Right. I, was, right. I was concerned, right. sure. Yeah. You're upset. I do remember I got that. to you. It was yeah. a little new. A bit, yes. Okay, okay. Exactly. All right. But this, this is one thing that I really mean from the bottom of my heart. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding. No bullshit. Um, I really love you, and I'm going to miss you. Oh, no, no. no. Really, uh, oh. 
What? Now, wait a minute. What? Jeez, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Very sweet of you. Yes, and you're still an ass. Brought to you by Amazon Prime. There's more to Prime.